Echoes of the Ancients, The Curse. Unleashed in Hollow Crest Museum. In the heart of the city stood the forgotten Hollow Crest Museum, home to artifacts from bygone eras and relics that whispered tales of ancient mysteries. At night, the museum transformed into an eerie labyrinth of shadows, and only the dim glow of security lights pierced the darkness. Jacob, a seasoned security guard with a penchant for the paranormal, patrolled the silent halls, his footsteps echoing through the empty chambers. One fateful night, the museum unveiled a new exhibit, an ancient Egyptian collection featuring a sarcophagus rumored to be cursed. The air within the exhibit felt dense, as if the weight of centuries rested upon the mummified remains. Jacob, unfazed by the superstition surrounding the exhibit, made it a point to include it in his routine patrols. As the midnight hour approached, a subtle unease settled over Jacob. The museum seemed to come alive with whispers that echoed through the dimly lit corridors. His flashlight flickered, casting eerie shadows on the walls. Dismissing it as a mere glitch, Jacob continued his rounds, but a feeling of foreboding lingered in the air. Upon entering the Egyptian exhibit, Jacob's senses heightened. The sarcophagus, adorned with intricate hieroglyphs, stood like a sentinel from the past. Its gaze seemed to follow him, and an unsettling chill crept down his spine. Ignoring the discomfort, Jacob scanned the room with his flashlight its beam revealing ancient artifacts and delicate relics. Suddenly, the temperature plummeted, and the room became engulfed in an unnatural darkness. Jacob fumbled for his radio, but before he could call for backup, a low, guttural sound echoed through the exhibit. The lid of the sarcophagus creaked open, revealing the mummy within. Frozen in terror, Jacob watched as the mummy's desiccated hand extended, its eyes flickering with a malevolent energy. The mummy, seemingly freed from its ancient slumber, lurched forward with surprising speed, closing the gap between them. Jacob stumbled backward, his heart pounding, as the mummy's bandaged fingers wrapped around his throat. The air grew heavy with the stench of decay as the mummy's grip tightened. Panic surged through Jacob's veins, and he fought for breath. Desperation fueled his struggle, and with a surge of strength, he managed to break free. Gasping for air, he stumbled backward, his eyes locked with the relentless gaze of the mummy. As the ancient being advanced, Jacob's flashlight revealed a cruel mockery of life in the mummy's eyes. The curse that once bound it had been unleashed, and the museum became a battleground between the living and the long dead. Jacob, driven by fear and survival instinct, raced through the labyrinthine corridors, the relentless footsteps of the mummy echoing behind him. The once silent museum now reverberated with the sounds of a nightmarish chase. Jacob's frantic pleas for help went unanswered lost in the vast emptiness of the museum. As he rounded a corner, he stumbled upon the exhibit of medieval armor. With desperation, he grasped a ceremonial sword, its cold metal a feeble defense against the supernatural force pursuing him. The mummy, undeterred, closed in on Jacob. In a final act of defiance, Jacob swung the sword, connecting with the mummy's ancient form. The blow though powerful, seemed to have little effect. With a relentless determination, the mummy seized the sword and, in a haunting silence, raised it against Jacob. The echoes of a struggle resonated through the museum, fading into an eerie stillness as the ancient Egyptian exhibit reclaimed its quietude. The mummy, having fulfilled its curse, returned to the sarcophagus, 
the lid closing with an ominous finality. The next morning, museum staff discovered Jacob's lifeless form in the Egyptian exhibit, the sword lying beside him. The security footage, when reviewed, showed a surreal dance between the living and the undead. The legend of the cursed sarcophagus lived on, whispered among the museum staff, and forever etched in the silent halls of Hollowcrest Museum, a cautionary tale for those who dared to tread into the mysteries of the past.